Hey, what's up everyone? Watch this video here for uh, Monday, December 16th. Uh, SPY, again, hitting, <coughs> excuse me, hitting all-time highs on Friday. A very slow, choppy day though. Um, I think I took two trades all day, um, maybe three. Didn't have any losers, but I certainly didn't have any uh, sizable winners to brag about. So let's go right into the watch list for, uh, for Monday. Remember, I'm looking for things to place a day trade in Monday. I'm in cash every night, so keep that in mind. Um, OMI, three days straight down to the bottom of a range. I view what it's done over the last couple months, it's range, right? From here to here. And it's, it's gotten from pretty much close to the top of the range to the bottom of the range in three days. A lot of times that's a good uh, recipe for a decent bounce the following day. So that one goes on watch. Sienna, such a strong move, C-I-E-N, um, on Thursday. And then Friday kind of gapped up a little bit and ran and then reversed. Um, you know, I don't know. I like to see this maybe eat into a little more of Friday's candle before I like it as a bounce, but sometimes a stock is strong enough to have kind of one reversal and then right back up. So we'll definitely keep it on watch for an A plus setup. Um, Lumber Liquidators, quiet inside red day on lower volume after the big breakout on Thursday. So that might be a third day play. It goes on watch. SSI has been a really strong stock. Now you've got four red days in a row and actually came down and touched the 20 day before bouncing a little bit. That one does go on Bounce Watch for tomorrow. Um, EXPR, also a really strong stock, a few days lower into the eight day. Um, that one goes on Bounce Watch for tomorrow. Starbucks, SBUX, had the gap up on Thursday, gave some of that back, and then Friday, pretty close to Thursday's high. So this one, might you might get that two day high break and maybe a continuation uh, of the, the gap up move from Thursday. So we're gonna watch that one. ASRT. Big pop Thursday, quiet inside day, but closing above its open on Friday. Maybe a breakout or a continuation um, tomorrow. CEI, I've got to zoom in so you can see this one because it's so scrunched together. Um, so there's the zoom in. This went from 69 cents one day to the very next day hit 310 before it gave a lot of it back. Then a red day, but it's curling right back up and we're very close to two equal highs here. Uh, Friday was 190, Thursday was 193. You know we love, um, sounds, sounds oversimplified to just put it this way because other, there are other factors, but we love two-day high breaks on a recent high flyer and you kind of have that possible scenario. If we break Friday's high, uh, that would be 191 and then 194 would break Thursday's high. So a possible little two-day high break, then maybe a squeeze through two. So I do want to watch CEI. Whoops, I typed that wrong. Sorry about that. Blue, B-L-U-E. Let me pan out so you can get a better look at this one. I had to zoom in for that CEI chart. Okay, so here's um, blue, which had a huge move here from, um, get, get some numbers here, 75, 76, all the way up to 92-ish in two sessions. Looked like it was going to roll right back over, and next thing you know, it's right back up. This is really strong action lately. Definitely want to watch that for a potential long on, uh, on Monday, AMRX had the gap up and a strong day and then an inside red day. Um, I don't know, maybe a third day play here. I'm gonna keep my eyes on it. SRPT, big gap up and ended up closing probably about in the middle of its range um, on Friday. So I don't love it, but you know what? We're gonna watch it. ADIL, um, kind of a big breakout for this one. This volume spike here, if you look to the left, Biggest volume going back however, however far this goes, six months back or whatever, but still not even half a million shares. So it's a pretty thin stock. Did that volume um, late day Friday, when most of it came near the end of the day, did that mean anything or was it just a chat room that was successful in pumping it? I don't know. We'll see if it gives a setup. We'll see if it has some news um, You know, before we, before we go to trade it on Monday, but maybe, maybe. It's, it, to me, it's a little too thin, but we'll see. And then lastly, I threw CNP on the watch list which had a really strong day on strong volume on Friday. Maybe we get some kind of red to green or some kind of setup for a follow through day. We'll add some gappers to this list as well. Um, teamwork and chat has been fantastic. Let's keep that going this week. And uh, remember, it's kind, of, it's kind of lower volume and choppy due to the holiday month here, but um, we're still finding some decent opportunities. All right, so we'll see you in chat on Monday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.